hello everyone so today we are going to discuss about manual allocation process and sap s4 hana controlling module so in the previous class we discussed about manual reposting and manual reposting is only used for primary cost element but in allocation we can use secondary cost elements as well so in allocation value will be credited and posted in the receiver cost center so let's check out and let's check out the cost center report and then we are going to perform the manual allocation so go to cost center report and check out the values in the cost center report so check out the cost center report and we are going to see the values in the cost center report execute so I am going to process the cost center report for the current period so in the source cost center value is 0 so in the previous class of manual reposting we posted the source cost center values to the receiver and check out the receiver cost center values so 500 is posted so now we are going to perform the manual allocation and post the value from receiver cost center to the source cost center go to accounting and in the controlling cost center accounting so actual postings and now we are going to do manual cost allocation and execute the process of manual cost allocation so the cost element is admin expense amount is 500 and now we are posting from center cost center is receiver and receiver cost center is source so now we, we are going to confirm this so it will not affect the fi document so it is only posted within the controlling module so check out the line item is now created and now we are going to post the transaction save So we can see the document number is generated and uh, now we are going back and again execute the report to check out the effect of manual allocation. So execute. So check out the receiver cost center. So we can see. value was initially debited but now it is credited so we can see the debit value and credit value in manual allocation unlike in manual reposting it was directly deducted from debit side of the report so in the manual allocation we check out the credit effect for the transaction as well so it is credited and in the receive source cost center we can check out the values so it will be 500 debited so it is posted from receiver into the source cost center so we can check out and again post the values so to check out the effect i'm going to post from receiver to the source and now save this so document is now generated again go back and now we are going to check out the effect so in the source cost center it is posted and credited from the source cost center 
and debited from in the receiver cost center so we can check out so it is now credited and reduced from this source cost center and it will be debited to the receiver so we can see that it is increased and the total value become the net effect is 500 so this is all about manual allocation method in sap controlling module so it is only used for posting between the cost centers and we can repost the values so we don't need to reverse the financial document so we can only post the controlling module values from one cost center to another cost center so thank you for watching this video